Welcome to Circuit Valley. I'm Gaurav. Today we got yet another teardown of IKEA product. IKEA has just launched this new smart plug or smart switch adapter or smart stack dozer. This was their old product, Tray Tuck. I believe it's called Tray Tuck. It came with remote. I mean, you can also buy it alone, but this is the thing which I bought last time. And this one can be switched, turned and on and off with this remote which is supplied or can also be paired with IKEA Hub and, or any other thing. And uh, now they got this new adapter or new plug and this is, I believe it's called Inspelling. And what is, does this thing offers? As you can see here, it offers a feature of measuring the power. I believe it has measurement circuitry inside. Our primary goal today is that uh, we will take it, take a look at this product. We'll compare it with the, we'll compare it with the tray tech. How does it, in appearance, difference? And we'll see how this thing works and how does it measure power and how good it is built inside. We will primarily do tree down. Maybe analyze circuitry a little bit and analyze the power circuitry. How does it get power and everything else? Because I'm somewhat interested in that. So let's get started. I'll take it out of the box. There's nothing else in the box, I believe, other than manual. And this is the product. So other than color, I do not remember any change. So this is the old thing. On the left side, you have the old one. On the right side, you have the new one. The new one is a little bit gray. And that's it, there is no other change. Of course, they can fit in one another. It looks exactly same other than color. Yeah, there, there is no other difference. IKEA of Sweden and uh, QC past and everything else. Smart plug typed left side is E2204 and right side is E2206. I wonder what is 2205. They basically mark same so we will take it apart. You will need a weird screwdriver for it. I have that screwdriver. Okay. So screw is out, same thing, we have to pierce this thing around and uh, we'll see if it works. I'll try not to damage it and take it a little bit more carefully out so that I can use it later as well. Okay, so I used this small piece of blade, it was easier to get leverage as easily. We are in, from the top it exactly looks like exactly I, the way IKEA looked, so I'll show you close up. On the left side there is a PCB which controls the button. On the bottom there is this RF module. I have no idea how does it measure everything. So take it further apart, we need to first take off this glue a bit, which is, I believe, used for thermal dissipation through the enclosure. should be out now and now we need a small screwdriver to take out those small two two small screws now it should just lift up The screws are out. I hope the glue is also out. I think glue is still sticking there. Maybe not from this side, maybe from this side. So now it's coming out finally. The glue is the only thing which is holding it there after the screws are out. Because that, see, the plastic is uh, damaged the screw. Yeah. And then not a, not a big deal. Yeah, both of the screws are there. Both of the buttons are damaged now. I should have kept them apart. Yeah, because this glue is in the way of this plastic which is hindering us. So now we are completely out, I guess. So on the paper it looks exactly same. And I can tell you 
that IKEA was planning it all the way before because if you remember last year down maybe I'll go attach photos of the PCB somewhere this IC was last time missing this is the power supply we will analyze I'll, toast, I'll show you the exact part number of every IC here and uh, this chip is of course uh, normal multi protocol MG21 chip and uh, this is the rectifier and everything else rectifier the protection melt register rectifier and uh, capacitor for rectification and uh, there is a very high voltage to direct low voltage DC conversion circuitry and there is a 3.3 volt regulator somewhere here so because of the logic operates at 3.3 volt and this IC was missing in the Traytac the old plug which cannot measure power this IC was missing in there so this is the this is the reason why they have this IC now I think I will take it further apart I will remove these solder plugs as well and will exactly photograph the PCB so I have taken it apart and uh, after taking a few screws I don't want to cut this wire I was able to take it fully apart from the top side it looks exactly like the old Traytac switch on the sides of course there are these two switches which we damaged during tear down and on the bottom you can see this beautiful PCB exactly same other on this side as I suggested rectification to a high voltage DC high voltage DC to 5 volt DC this is a 3.3 volt regulator for logic we can also see 5 voltage mark there and uh, this is a specific part which converts high voltage DC directly to 5 volt DC and isolated DC DC converter somewhat dangerous but in this case when the enclosure application and only powering this thing yeah it's okay it should do and uh, this fat register which you see this is your current sensing register for the AC lines power comes in and goes out through these terminals these big terminals this goes out through these big terminals gets in here gets through the relay and on this side gets in here and get out to onto the socket this is the input terminal this is another input terminal here is a relay between this and this socket and this is directly connected through this register the old board does not have this resistor and of course does not have these parts as well this little IC if I, if you want I can read it for you what these IC part numbers are this IC is uh, BP2525 00CSK and this power management IC is HLW8110 HLW8110 so let's look at the first look at the data sheet of our regulator IC so you can see BP2525 Circuit uh, data sheet is available and circuit is given directly on the first page. You can see there are four diodes for rectification, but in our circuit we only see two diodes for rectification because it appears to be it's only doing IKEA is only doing half wave rectification rather than full wave rectification. That's that capacitor which is mentioned in the front of the uh, regulator circuitry. This inductor is most likely for filtering, not primarily to be used for power or something like that. So and then after that you have the part itself as per the circuit. This is the BP2525 high voltage DC DC. Two diodes are also from circuit as and this inductor is the primary regulation inductor. So ex exactly matches, almost exactly matches to the design. So this power management HLW part, we will take a look at this data sheet as well. You can see the screenshots of the data sheet. It has multiple ADCs, three ADCs to sample various things. Had multiple PGAs and everything else it can do a lot of stuff on its own and it's really nice IC and it communicating to this of course this syllabus uh, MG21 chip which is exactly same as the old this was a tear down of IKEA smart power meter stack dose or smart power meter plug adapter and uh, it can be operated remotely and can also measure of course power I do not have uh, so that's it for this video. You can visit my website www.circuitbelly.com. There are teardowns, FPGA, and really high-end projects going on there. 